Hey, what's going on guys? Josh from Trobuilt. And if you guys have ever wondered what was actually inside a tire or what the tire was actually made of, well, then stay tuned because in today's video, we're gonna cut this Goodyear Wrangler Dura Track in half and show you guys exactly what these things are made of. So make sure and hit that subscribe button so that way you guys can hold on to the ride with us. Let's cut this thing apart. All right guys, so, so far so good. This thing's cutting right through it like a hot knife through butter. And keep in mind too guys, this blade on here, this is for cutting through big ass trees. So, oh, we got some sparkage. Oh, we got some smoke. That's one of my favorite smells in the whole world. Burning smoke, burning rubber. Well, we know there's, <laughs> there's definitely metal in here. Turn this bad boy up. Keep spinning on me, but I'm guessing that the bead, the actual bead seat of the tire, is going to be the thickest. There's probably going to be, well, I can't say probably because I don't know, but I know the bead of the tire is going to be the thickness because that's what sits on the actual bead seat of the wheel. So usually that's where they fold the sidewall around when 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 they're when tire manufacturers are talking about turn up. That's where they fold the the bead around the fold the sidewall around this uh, bead seat of the tire and then up and over the sidewall. So, and then obviously you can see there's a, an assembly point right here where you can see that it's been hot pressed in between the sidewall and the tread of the tire. So, but well, we got some sparks going on. We got some cool things happening. We got that rubber burnt smell that I absolutely love. I don't know what it is. It just brings me back to doing burnouts on the back roads here in Wisconsin. And I think they should make a clone out of this burnt rubber smell. I think that would be awesome. All right, so let's keep going. A few moments later. So I did have to switch the blade out on the Sawzall to more of a, a metal cutting blade. The reason being is because the bead of this tire, there is about a half inch thickness or so of just all metal strands that uh, that the bead of the tire is formed out of. So obviously that creates a lot of additional strength within that bead uh, to help it with its structural rigidity. So we swapped out the blade and we're gonna keep cutting. One hour later. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. We just cut through this Goodyear Wrangler Dura Track. Now, one thing we did have to do is stop a little bit short because we literally dulled both blades for the Sawzall that we had with us. So we weren't able to cut through that extra wire strand that was on the other side of the bead. But I found it interesting in the construction of the tire, the fact that the entire tread, underneath the entire tread or embedded into the actual mold or rubber of the tire were two different layers of metal strands. Now, uh, two purposes. One is obviously to help protect the tire or the bottom layer of the tire in between the tread logs from getting punctured from nails, sharp debris, or even really sharp rocks. So that's going to add that extra layer of protection in there. But not only that, but it does help with the extra structural rigidity of the tread itself to really help prevent from the tread from splitting or anything like that. So very interesting that they use metal all the way throughout the, the inside layer of the mold underneath the tread itself. And then as far as the sidewall, you can tell that they use a couple different plies here of nylon throughout the tread wall. And I'm guessing nylon helps 
the tire's sidewall flex a little bit better than the actual steel cords would. So it's going to help that sidewall flex a little bit, plus still give it some extra protection against those cuts and punctures. Plus, not only that, adds extra strength in the sidewall itself. So really cool to actually see the inside of the tire mold itself and what they're made out of and the different plies and how they all play their own part in the strength of the tire and to help protect it from cuts and tears and punctures and things like that. So pretty awesome. We had a good time cutting this open, but we want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about cutting open this tire? Uh, what did you expect to see? And is there anything that you guys would like to see or know about with cutting open this tire? Other than that, guys, that's all that we have for you today. We're going to go ahead and we're going to order ourselves a new one of these to replace it in our inventory. We're going to head over to trailboatoffroad.com and pick up a new Goodyear Wrangler Dura Track. Other than that, guys, don't forget to tap on that subscribe, thumbs up to like the video. And guys, as always, we appreciate all of you for watching and all of your support. I'm Josh from Trollbolt and we'll see you guys out on the trails.